Life is full of little problems, and some of them you can even fix with a 3D printer. Today I share with you some of my favourites. I don't know about you, but I am all about functional and practical 3D printing. I've made a couple of videos in the past on 3D printed tools that you can create for your workshop, but everything in this video should appeal to a much broader audience. Everything you'll see will help you organize your life, and I've carefully curated this list to only include objects that are free, easy to print, and don't require tools to put together or use. Let's start with objects suitable to the office or study. Some people take great pride in adding some bling and style to the area where they work. 3D printing is great for this too, and for this example, I've chosen this wavy pencil holder by SNASA. As the instructions suggest, this one is printed in vase mode, and I chose for some color gradient filament. The end result is visually stunning, and because vase mode makes a perimeter with one continuous extrusion, this ends up being flexible, despite the fact that I printed it in PLA. Therefore, in my opinion, as well as being absolutely visually stunning, it's also quite tactile to hold. Of course, to be on this list, it needs to be practical too, and you can use it to hold stationery or put a small pot inside with a plant. Other times, a workspace doesn't need embellishment, but just sheer organization. And that's what you're seeing here in the form of my daughter's desk. For her, I've chosen this pen holder by Dirk144347. Because of the hexagon cutouts around the body, this is quite a slow print. And even on a Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, this took a little over eight hours. The end result, once again with color gradient PLA, is both attractive and functional. The seven compartments of varying heights in which to organize stationery. My daughter loves it, and with any luck, this will encourage her to keep her work area tidy. This next one's for me, because honestly, the way I store my glasses at my desk is pretty average. There's quite a lot of great designs to choose from, but I went for something truly unique, with this skull eyeglass holder by Mocha Droid. This one prints in one piece, and you can use whatever filament you want. In my case, I went for Marvel X3D PLA. Because I chose not to print with support material, there are some unsupported overhangs. So you can either turn on support, or if you're like me, save some filament and do a little bit of cleaning up afterwards. This thing looks cool sitting empty on the desk, but it really comes alive when you put your glasses on it. Well, as alive as a skeleton can. The last one in this category applies to anyone who uses a desk, and it's the customizable sweeping two-line nameplate by Makuro. In the file section, there's actually a lot there. We have some examples of things already made. We have a names folder with 611 files, and if your name's Wolfgang or Wilhelm, I guess you can download one of those. Most people, however, are only going to need this one file, and that's the SCAD file. Open SCAD or Open SCAD, in case you didn't know, is a 3D modeling program that uses code to generate 3D geometry. It's completely free, and once you install it and open the nameplate file, this is what it's going to look like. We can see on the left all of our code, but don't worry, you can completely ignore that. Instead, all you need to do is look at the parameters on the right-hand side. Now, the beauty of this design is how easy it is for anyone to customize. We simply replace the text with whatever we want, and you'll see as soon as we click off, the 3D preview will update. We can also pick one of the emojis from the list to be added to the left or right-hand side, and I can see here that some of them aren't generating for me. But that's okay, because we can copy and paste an emoji from anywhere else into the special emoji field, and it will automatically be converted into 3D geometry. Further down, we can change pretty much anything we want, including font sizes and spaces in between. And one thing that you should definitely change is this top one face a segment, and that will decide how smooth the transition is between horizontal to our letters. The default is six, but something like 12 or more will be a lot smoother. Once we're happy, we can go to the design menu and click render or press F6. This render stage is probably gonna take a minute or more, and if you get any errors, you can ignore them. Assuming you're happy, you can come up to file, export, and then select a format that you want for 3D printing. Again, pick whatever filament you like the look of, and enjoy watching it print as the letters curl around to form the shape. The geometry we're seeing here is way beyond the skills of an average person in CAD, but thanks to this great design in OpenSCAD, anyone can emulate this. The only issue I had was this little dot from the eye being partially knocked loose during the print. But rather than mucking around and adding support or anything like that, 
it's probably easier just to scale the whole model up to make it thicker in any weak areas like this. Don't only think about your own nameplate for this, think about your family, think about your friends and workmates and having some fun with this great design. Now we'll move on to the kitchen where we have a treasure trove of options. Chainmail is one of the most satisfying and impressive things that you can 3D print. So why not show it off in your kitchen with these fabric coasters by Rory's 3D. I printed two sets of four in different colors and like any other 3D printed chain mail, it's print in place which means the whole thing is done in one piece and it's very fun to play with. As you can see, this is the 6x6 version, which as it turns out is a little bit small for the average size glass or cup. For smaller cups, this is probably spot on and I bet your guests won't be able to tell that this is 3D printed. Let's shift instead to everyday practicality with this locking bag clip by Squin. Like earlier, this one is print in place, which means you don't need any hardware or tools to assemble it, just move the parts until they break free. And the next time you've got a bag of crisps or anything else that you want to keep fresh, simply fold it over a few times to make it thicker, open up the jaws of the clip, stick it over the top and then push down the locking arm. You should find that it grips quite tightly. Here's another simple but effective print in this bottle dryer version 4 by Quatrox. Each stand prints in two parts, which means it's flat and will easily go inside a drawer. And to use it, we simply slot the two halves together. And then, after your drink bottle's been washed, simply flip it upside down, put it on the stand and let it drip dry. One of the perks of this particular design is that multiple units can slot together in case you need more stability, perhaps for glass bottles or something like that. So by printing multiple copies, you can set up an array to dry as many bottles as you need to. And when you're done, collapse each unit down for simple flat storage. Let's say now that you're enjoying a refreshing beverage, but you might not finish it in one go. This rings true if you've got young kids, so how do you stop it from going flat? Well, this can lid by Maker Cameron will do the job. This model is really easy. You simply print it from flexible TPU filament. That'll help it flex right onto the top of the standard can, keeping the gas inside and the drink fizzy. It'll also reduce the risk of spillage inside your fridge. For unopened cans, there's dispensers like this one from Enigma to help you organize the inside of your fridge. And whatever your beverage of choice is, there's a good chance there'll be an option for you, free and available to print. For my family, however, we needed a practical way to organize the produce from our feathered friends. In the warmer months, they produce so many eggs that it's hard to keep up, and we always get them jumbled as to which ones are fresh and which ones are old. Fortunately, we've got free options available to help us rotate them, like this egg roll basket from Cisco. If you don't keep your eggs in the fridge, this triple helix is quite nice to look at, especially when printed in X3D stone PLA. The ramp angle is pretty steep, but the eggs do stop by themselves at the bottom. This will fit at least a dozen eggs, and if you always take them from the bottom, you'll be ensuring that you rotate your stock. If instead you like to keep your eggs in the fridge, this rotary dispenser by Javier Hernando might be a better fit. One thing I like here is that there's one version that's split into multiple pieces for people with smaller printers, as well as the entire design to printing one go if you prefer. There's also a step file in case you want to edit the geometry. I chose to print everything in one piece with that version of the STL in the same stone look PLA. Surprisingly, despite the curvy shape, this doesn't require any support to print. Another optional part that I'd recommend is the TPU stopper. It slots right in without any hardware. Just like the drink can dispensers, the idea here is to rotate the eggs to make sure the old ones don't get forgotten and go bad. We simply place an egg on the top and it will roll down to the bottom. Assuming we always take one from the front of the lower level, our stock will be perfectly rotated. Now the eggs by themselves can survive this fall, but I did find they tended to clang into each other a little bit harder than I would like. And in my testing, a couple of them even managed to crack. And since a step file is provided, I'm planning to design a little slot on finger just to break the fall of the eggs and slow them down before they hit the bottom. But even without this, this design looks good and is quite functional. Finally, let's take some prints on the road. Here's a problem that I've only found a solution to now, stopping your toothbrush from getting gross when you need to travel, thanks to this case from Code Warrior. There's versions with and without holes, and for each of those, a tight and a loose fit version. Based on my testing, I would recommend the tight fit version. But in terms of function, it doesn't matter because both will work equally well. Like other objects on this list, the hinge is print in place, therefore no tools or hardware required. So let's test it with a toothbrush, and this one is not from my mouth. In fact, it's one that came with my first Solidoodle 2 3D printer. Operation is simple, you place the toothbrush inside the case and clip it shut, 
Now your bristles won't be interacting with each other or with anything else when it's buried in a bag. Another item with a life of its own when you travel are the cords you need to charge your devices. There's plenty of free options available and I've chosen this knurled and stackable print in place design by Tinkermaker. Again, print in place, no assembly required. All you need to do is make sure the center can spin freely. To use this, rotate the core so the central and outer holes line up. Then feed in a USB or other cable, whatever fits, through the middle until the winder is as close to the middle as possible. This next part's pretty satisfying. We hold the outside and simply twist the middle and it will wind up the cord internally until both ends have been completely pulled in. This prevents the cords from tangling with each other and whatever else is in your bag. And when we wanna use them, all we need to do is pull the two ends out as far as necessary. Remember too that one advantage here is that this design is stackable. So if you've got a lot of cables, maybe you'd like to print versions of this in different colors, color coded for different types of cables. You can then make a neat and tangle free stack laying down in your luggage. But not everything is about traveling a big distance on holidays, like this coffee cup gimbal by Moby Obi. The included image shows a range of places that this could be quite useful. And I'm gonna to add to this by suggesting a stroller or pram for parents. There's accessories, but what you're seeing here are the minimum parts required and I chose to print in PETG because if your cup is hot enough, there's a chance it could soften PLA. The gimbal component is print in place and we'll see how that works shortly. And to use this, we turn it upside down, put on the clamp and then screw in the bolt. As you can see, tightening the bolt will close the clamp. The best thing about this is the gimbal because it prevents drinks from spilling, which is particularly important if they're scalding hot. Now I'm not for a second suggesting you should mount this on your car steering wheel. It's just what I had on hand for demonstration. After it's clamped on, as you can see, gravity will prevent the cup from tipping over and spilling. The gimbal should also prevent spills on bumpy surfaces too. And if you prefer cold drinks, this cup insert remix by C Penner might be for you. Once printed, it simply slides inside the rest of the assembly, which will convert the system to be able to take a standard aluminium can. I will say, however, that the gimbal doesn't work quite as well here because there's some weight above the center line instead of all in the bottom like with the coffee cup. One more item for travel, this collapsible basket by 3D Printing World. And you might think this is an unusual choice, but hear me out. Again, print in place, no assembly because it self assembles as soon as you lift it up. And it is extremely satisfying to then flip out the handle and the support leg. When you're done, the basket collapses down in seconds to its original flat pack state. And if you don't want it to flip up, all you need to do is to turn it upside down and everything will remain in place. When flat, I think this is compact enough to live in a handbag or perhaps your car's glove box for whenever you might need it. Let's say you're off hiking or maybe you've taken the kids to the beach and they spot some things that they'd like to collect. This basket is gonna be a pretty nice solution for holding such treasures. The handle is easy for little hands to hold and because the whole thing swivels, it's like the gimbal cup holder, which means it should be hard for the objects to tip out by accident. And when you're done, packing it away is just as easy. That's the end of my list for this video, and I hope there was at least one thing in it that you liked enough to 3D print for yourself. I'm sure there's plenty of great models that I've missed, so please share some of your favorites down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy organizational 3D printing. G'day, it's Michael again. If you liked the video, then please click like. If you wanna see more content like this in future, click subscribe and make sure you click on the bell to receive every notification. If you really wanna support the channel and see exclusive content, become a patron. Visit my Patreon page. See you next time.